Hey, God bless you, my friend. This is Sister Sharon, and today, in the name of the Lord, we are going to try uh, to chop down this tree of deceit when it comes to sexual immorality, when it comes to fornication, having sex with someone that's not your spouse, when it comes to adultery, having sexual intercourse with someone else's husband or wife, when it comes to homosexuality, having sex with the same sex, when it comes to sexual perversion, which is masturbation, that is usually spawned on by um, one of the most prevalent addictions in America, pornography. Pornography, friends, is like a serpent. If it wraps itself around you, it can suck the very life out of you. And I believe that the Spirit of the Lord has given me this thought to share with us that the number one reason many people are constantly falling back into sexual immorality, you will go for 30 days, you'll go 40 days, you'll go two years, a year, six months, and you're right back in sexual immorality. Because, my friend, many people are underestimating the fact that you have, the people you have committed sin against God, still in your phone. When you underestimate that the word of the Lord says good manners are corrupted by bad company. Every person that you have saved in your cell phone has access to you. They can come up in the phone as an unexpected guest company just like that one message and you know friends when you see look let's put it like this now I'm only using this name because it rhymes if Tyrone is still in your phone and you sister are trying to break free but you will not block and get Tyrone out the phone when you least expect it, here comes Tyrone. When you're vulnerable, when you're lonely, when you're going through the vicissitudes of your life, here comes a text message from Tyrone. How, beloved, can you move and walk in the straight and narrow path that leads us to eternal life if you keep company with Tyrone. Long as Tyrone is in the phone, he's company. And bad company corrupts good morals. Beloved, Tyrone, or for the, for the gentlemen, the brothers on the channel that may view this video, if, if you still got Shaniqua in your phone and Shaniqua is who you cheated on your spouse with and now you have committed your life back to Christ and you are trying to do the right thing but Shaniqua is still in your phone let me tell you friends you are teety tottering with something serious and many will not make it because you underestimate these people that you committed sin against God with are your enemies. That's right. I don't care how nice Tyrone and Shaniqua is. They are your enemy. Beloved, you got to cut these people out of your life. You cannot play with your flesh. You cannot give your flesh room. You cannot. Revelation chapter 21, the last words that Jesus spoke to John, some of the very last words, are sobering. He told John on the Isle of Patmos, no 
fornicator will enter the kingdom of heaven. All fornicators, all adulterers, all that practice sexual perversion. Friends, you will be cast into the lake of fire. This is what Jesus said. Now, there are those of you who want to believe that because you believe in Christ, but yet you still are playing in the cesspool of sexual immorality, that you're going to make it. God has given every last one of us. It's not a person walking this planet, including Sister Sharon, who has not needed God's mercy. When it comes to sexual immorality, friends, God, he is not a, 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 a father. He's not um, our heavenly father who is sitting up waiting to just throw you into hell. No. But he expects you to walk worthy, to get up out of our foolishness, to present our bodies as living sacrifice. He gives us room to repent. But beloved, let me tell you, you don't play with grace. You don't play with his grace. You don't take for granted, my friend, the grace of God. If you are in sexual sin and you know for years this is your pattern, friends, you got to hear what the Spirit is saying to us. You must disconnect from your lovers. They cannot be your friend. Oh, we're just friends. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, no, no. Enough has been said. Galatians chapter 5. All fornicators. All. Will not inherit the kingdom of God. Paul makes a sobering statement. He says, do not be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sows to his flesh, you're going to reap. Get out of that fornication, sister. Get out of that fornication, brother. Get out of that adulterous affair, brother. Get out of that adultery, sister. Get out of it. Your soul is worth more than that one night stand every day three months. Your soul is more valuable than that pornography that you keep pouring down in your soul. Your soul is valuable. Come on out of there, friend. Come out of there. Come on out. Come on. Come on. Come. Come to Jesus. Come to him. Turn from your sin. Turn, turn, and come back to your first love. Come back to your first love, my friend. Come back to your first love. God bless us all. Till next time, my friend, you can overcome.